Hello everyone, um, today we keep talking about Jenkins, I'm using declarative syntax for configuration and today's topic is going to be related with one of the questions from the subscribers uh, he asked me um, related with how can you configure uh, your pipeline to trigger downstream downstream jobs um, how can you uh, input some information in that some kind of variables and inputs to that specific um, downstream job how can you get the status of that job when you are executed how do you know is that, that job was successful or was failing um, that kind of things uh, we are going to answer and I'm going to answer in this um, in this video uh, but first of all I would like to start uh, from here and this is the, the documentation the Jenkins official documentations as I said in all my previous videos if you have any questions always go here you will find everything in this page so how can you build um, a, um, how can you trigger a job using the build syntax and the build syntax complain have a, some parameters so the first one is the job how can you provide the job name using job you can do it um, for say the relative path or you can do absolute absolute path uh, if your job is really uh, is organized inside folders or next to folders you can provide the whole the whole name the other parameter or property is parameters and this one is a list and then you provide here the list of parameters like booleans or streams um, list, list of choices um, a file etc there is a lot of parameters a lot of parameters here that you can use you have to um, come here read about it you know, some of them require plugins that need to be installed um, let's go uh, all the way to the bottom and then the last three um, properties when you are doing a job is propagate and propagate is a property that is enabled by default and um, what does that mean is um, when you trigger a job is that is that job fails your job is going to fail is your that job becomes unstable you will get that same uh, status in your current job so by default it's, it's, it's enabled but you can disable um, also the quiet period is you define is optional um, all these three are optional you don't have to use it um, quiet period is the time the amount of time in seconds that you want to wait before triggering the job and then the wait if you are running uh, multiple or parallel jobs and then you want to wait for those um, to finish uh, so based on this I will provide this information in the um, video description so don't worry about it and let's start with our first job so we have a job here pretty simple it's a pipeline that just have um, one parameter and then it's have, it, it has two states the first one is going to be a bill compiling for five seconds is simulating that process and the second one is going to be the deploy and the deploy is, is it has the magic so what is the magic is in this script block when you define a script block you are using declarative syntax plus uh, the scriptive syntax so with the scripted scripted syntax you can do something like this so you can also do more stuff that we will see let's see this configuration for this downstream job so you have the bill and there the name is going to be release job i have it here and the parameters that we are providing if you can see this is a list we are providing just one single parameter and it's going to be in a string and the value is going to be the bill number of this bill in our release or downstream job we have the same they need to match as you can see here from bill and bill and then we are providing that value and we are going to show that value in the uh, in the console so let's start with this one first create a new job it's going to be a pipeline starter starter job We just paste it here save it let me duplicate this window we're gonna use this one for the second job uh, release job it can be a free style but we we are gonna use a pipeline because we are talking about pipelines but you can trigger from here any any kind of job there you go and let's start it we build 
This one is going to run for five seconds and then it's going to trigger the second one. From this one, you can go directly, but we are using this tab to see what's going on here. It's pending to finish and then you will see it. There you go. So let's see what is the output deploying from source one and this one is source one. Yeah, this is one of the first build. So that works pretty simple. This is the way that you can trigger, you can send uh, information from this uh, from one pipeline to any downstream job. What happens if you want to add another job, another parameter, let's say a Boolean. So we can do that here. Uh, just copy this one. Let's try this example. Let's make it a little bit complex. And I'm pretty sure the class is Boolean. Um, yeah, Boolean. Boolean. Parameter value. And then we're going to say here um, uh, is ready. Um, let's say we're going to use here is ready with true. Perfect. Uh, there's a comma here because this one is a list, but we have to do the same in the other side. Is ready. And um, let's try here with new parameter for this job. This one is going to be uh, volume param. Yes, volume param. And is ready is the name. We have to be matching. The default value is going to be. Uh, false and then uh, let's provide a description here like yeah, is ready for Pratt. That's it. So let's try this one and see what's going on here. We're going to change this one. Pretty simple. Configure. With this example, we are providing multiple parameters to a downstream job. And let's see how this one behave. Perfect. Let's change this one. Configure. Let's run this one. And let's check what's, what will happen here. It's going to be running for five seconds and then it's going to trigger the second job. There you go. Successful. And that's the second job. As we try to see what is the parameters using here, we won't see it because we have to run a pipeline at least twice before uh, really seeing or what is the... Every time that you run a pipeline, uh, the first time it won't realize uh, of the any configuration that you already applied. It's going to execute the configuration, but you don't see those changes. Um, the example is when you add a new parameters, you won't see that one the first time that you run with C parameters. Um, but if we go here, uh, let's say we have a, th a third, we have a third execution here, right? And what I'm talking about is if we go to parameters, then we will see that it's ready, it's checked. This parameter is already checked, so it's true. Um, this is a, another example. How can you provide multiple uh, inputs or information from one pipeline to your downstream job? What happens? You want to know what is going on with your job. What is the status of your job? You can get that one from here. Remember, keep in mind that Jenkins are Groovy, so you can do something like define release job equal to this, and then you will get here the result of this job. So you can do, for example, something like this and say if release job um, dot result is, is not equal to let's say success then I want to show an example here that um, echo let's say release status and then we need to name our release job dot result. If we want to this um, this happen, and remember this one by default, this this job by default use uh, propagate enable. So if the other job fail, this one is gonna fail, and we won't see 
um, this ex this code, so we have to do something like pro propagate equal false. What is, I'm saying here is it doesn't matter if this, if this job fails, please don't make this one a failure. And then we're going to do something here like sh exit one, something different to zero uh, to mark that one as failure. And let's try that configuration uh, quickly here. Perfect. Save it. And we're going to try the other configuration here. We are marking this one as failure. So you have to fail. No my what? So let's start it. And there you go. So this one is going to run, but our release um, downstream job is going to fail. But we're going to we're going to get that information in our pipeline without uh, getting a failure in our pipeline. So as you can see, our our pipeline is, is was successful, but the release was a failure. So in that kind of thing, you can do, for example, you can say notification. Hey, the, release, the build process is working, but the release process is failing, or you can remove the propagate and keep everything failing. Uh, if your downstream job fail, then your job is going to fail. Um, this is basically the idea that I have for today. Uh, I hope you like it. If you have any configuration in your job uh, right now that you are using, um, it's more complex than this one. You are just in, using different parameters. If you have anything that is a challenge, uh, just let me know. Pin me, left a comment in the video, and I will try to answer um, as soon as I can. Um, but thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like it. If you like anything, if you want to see something new, just let me know. Thank you. Have a wonderful night.